Harris County executive is fired tonight after refusing a mandatory sexual harassment training. Rick Noriega was the executive director at Harris County Universal Services. KPRC 2's Candace Burns has much more on why he was being ordered to take the training and how a county judge is reacting to the news tonight. Candace? Daniela, Rick Noriega was accused of sexual harassment by a county employee in December of 2022. He was ordered to complete that sexual harassment training on two occasions, but according to the county, he didn't cooperate. We've come a long way from the old boys club way of doing things, but I'll tell you we're not done. During a commissioner's court meeting Tuesday, Harris County Judge Alina Hidalgo declared she supports the Harris County Administrator's decision to dismiss the county's executive director of Universal Services, Rick Noriega, after an investigation by the county's attorney, Human Resources Department, and Risk Management determined there was sufficient evidence to support a sexual harassment claim made against him by a county employee and Noriega refused to participate in training that there's a conversation that needs to be had in Harris County about the culture of sexism. The harassment claim was filed five months ago. Hildalgo says Noriega was asked on April 10th and again on April 26th to complete sexual harassment trainings, but he ignored the request. The judge says it's an example of a problem in Harris County that even she has experienced. The kinds of behaviors, alleged behaviors that I myself have experienced, um, even worse, I was groped once standing right here. Uh, I didn't have the strength and the presence of mind to report that. She believes Noriega's termination sends the message that the behavior will no longer be tolerated. The old boy's way of treating women, the jokes, the demeaning comments, the groping, this kind of thing, it's not okay and it ends today. It is important to note that Noriega was not fired for the alleged sexual assault. He was fired because he refused to complete the sexual harassment training following the allegation. Reporting live in the newsroom, Candace Burns, KPRC 2 News.